Some people need a deep cleaning. Some people need a regular cleaning. Let's talk about the difference. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Butts, Doctor of Dental Surgery, and this channel is a health and wellness channel for you to be healthy and wealthy. Today, we're going to talk about your oral health, your oral cavity, and keeping it clean. Some people get surprised when they go to the dentist and they hear something like, I need a deep cleaning. What? I need a deep cleaning, that's what they say. All right, now, some people know that they need a deep cleaning. And they'll say, oh yeah, I've had one of those before. Some people didn't know that they needed deep cleaning and they'll say something like, I floss every day, I use those floss picks, what do you mean I need a deep cleaning? All right, so let me tell you how we even determine how or why someone would need a deep cleaning. And you have to make sure that your dental hygienist and your doctor for whatever uh, dental office you're going to is doing this, they're doing what's called probing depths probing measurements. And this is basically a, um, a millimeter probe, it's a metal probe, has some markings on it, and it gets stuck gently in between the tooth and the gum into that little socket pocket. And if it's a three or below, your gums are relatively healthy. If it is a four or above, that means in that area there's some bacteria or there's this part, there's a part that's not being um, cleaned off properly, and that part needs a deep cleaning. Not all deep cleanings are for the whole mouth. Sometimes it could just be a deep cleaning for one to three teeth in one particular area of your mouth, and those, those areas are uh, called quadrants. So you have the lower right, lower left, upper left, upper right. There's a total of four quadrants in your mouth. So uh, a quadrant deep cleaning could happen and then the rest of your teeth are fine and there's different reasons why you may need a deep cleaning in one area or just some areas and not all of them and that could be that you're using a floss pick, it could be that you're not flossing consistently, it could be. But here's, here's my love for you, here's mine to you, okay? Um, money is tight, there's a recession out here now at this time. There may be a recession forever. Forever you're going to want to keep your money in your pocket and make your money work for you. That's another story. But in terms of your health, the best way for you to keep your money for your health is, in terms of dentistry, is floss and then brush twice a day, every day. I did a video on flossing, check that out. But I need to let you know about this also. If it's determined that you need a deep cleaning, and you may even know, yeah, yeah, I probably do need a deep cleaning because I haven't been flossing or brushing or brushing or flossing, or I floss once or twice a week and it should be twice a day. Okay, and if you already know that, okay, you know, great. Um, well, then, if it's been determined that you need a deep cleaning, well, that's the cleaning that you need to get. You shouldn't say, well, you know what, that deep cleaning is too expensive, so I'm just going to get this regular cleaning. Well, the regular cleaning, it doesn't do the same things as a deep cleaning. It's actually a different kind of tooth cleaning. A regular cleaning and a deep cleaning, that difference is so wide that if you need a deep cleaning and you receive a regular cleaning, well, we, we could have made it worse for you or you could have made it worse for you. Uh, no one is doing you a favor if they say, oh, you know, you need a deep cleaning, but we'll just give you a regular cleaning. No, that just means that they're not either prepared themselves or they're desperate to get some money uh, whatever that is, that's wrong. If it's determined by data that you are in need of a deep cleaning, then that's the only cleaning that you should get. 
at my office in Camp Creek Dental, right here at this office. If it's determined that you need a deep cleaning, well, that's the only cleaning that we can do. We can't do a regular cleaning for you because it'll make you feel as though you've gotten a cleaning, but you actually haven't. And then you go back out into the world and those bacteria and tartar that we've left in those deep pockets, it flourishes even more and it causes more bone loss. And that's just not what I would do. And I don't think that my colleagues would do that, but maybe sometimes out there there's offices that would do that. But this is just your PSA so that you know if someone says you need a deep cleaning, that's the cleaning that you need. If you trust them, if you trust them, and they've taken the data, the x-rays, the doctors examine you, they've done the periodontal exam with the probing, they've done all of those things, and then they've determined that you need a deep cleaning, please know that you probably need a deep cleaning. And then you probably would know it in your heart also. So recognize the truth and go with it. That's all I wanted to say about that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like or understand these parts that I'm talking about and you want to share this information with a friend, please send it out to a friend. Please share it. And um, we'll talk about it later.